This is Wilson. Wilson is a squirrel. He's cute, he's fuzzy, and for some reason him and his relatives have lived on campus for as long as he can remember. But why? So why are there hundreds of squirrels just like Wilson on nearly every college campus in America? For the answer, I went to Erica Bailey Johnson, an environmental expert and professor here at BSU. I'd say squirrels probably hang around college campuses because there is, um, it's kind of a big green space, most of it is, with a lot of trees. So, uh, and probably, um, particularly the types of trees that squirrels like, which are the oaks and that sort of thing, you know, for the nuts. <laughs> but I'd say the big green space with not a lot of traffic, so they have a lot of um, opportunity to, to roam around and that sort of thing. Um, a little component might also be there's a lot of open trash available for them, maybe trash cans available for them to uh, scrounge around and, you know, scavenge in. So that might be another reason why they're around college campuses. And then, you know, obviously there's the lack of predators. <laughs> so, you know, you don't see the, I don't know, what eats squirrels, um, fox or, you know, I don't know what else eats squirrels. Like there's not really cats. There's no neighborhood cats around the predators that would be um, prev more prevalent off campus you know, to maybe lessen the squirrel population. However, a squirrel hardly ever focuses on its food. Instead, they are constantly on alert for predators, and they have been known to occasionally attack people. One day last spring, my friend and I were walking to class, and she bent to throw something into the garbage can. Well, without any warning, the squirrel just jumped out and latched onto her face. Of course she started to freak out, which must have scared the squirrel because it started flailing its little arms and clawing at her face. After what seemed like forever, it finally jumped off and ran away. But there was nothing I could do but watch. And there are many stories just like this one, so if you've ever been a victim of a squirrel attack, you're not alone. Also, it's important to keep in mind that emotional support groups are not available for victims, as society tends to hope that they'll just suck it up and get over it. Squirrel bites are hardly ever deep enough for you to need more than a few stitches, but an infection may be likely, and it's a good idea to get a tetanus shot within 24 hours of being bitten. Some people see squirrels as pests, as they can cause significant damage to flower beds and lawns. Some people have even decided to do something about it, even if it means getting a little creative. I had a 10th grade biology teacher who absolutely hated squirrels and she lived in Carver County in Minnesota and she, I, her name will remain anonymous, I don't want her to get in any trouble, but she shot squirrels a lot on her free time in her backyard because she thought they were a nuisance and then she later on proceeded to bring those squirrels to class to be dissected. If we do decide that squirrels are a problem we need to do something about, we need to keep one thing into consideration. If they survived, would they retaliate? That wouldn't be pretty. But then one day I was struck with sudden brilliance. If St. Patrick managed to chase all of the snakes out of Ireland, why can't I chase all of the squirrels off campus? Believe it or not, this brilliant idea didn't work as well as I had hoped. Shoot! Shoot! No one So if there is no logical, economical, or humane way to get rid of them, and we know they're not just going to go away on their own, I guess that means we're just going to have to learn to coexist peacefully and harmoniously. Or just learn to avoid them altogether. But how could we avoid the squirrels that are everywhere and still make it to class every day? While other colleges might not be so lucky, here at BSU there is a convenient solution. We have a tunnel system. And if you don't feel like taking the tunnels every day, just remember, squirrels like Wilson don't like the cold, so it will be safe to go outside during the winter months. So now the only thing you need to worry about is how to get from Tamarack to Decker.